Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, the Silver Forum. Sorry I've been away from YouTube over the last few weeks. I've just been so busy uh, with the business. Um, thank you for the guys who are supporting me and uh, using my services. Um, this four coin set has just turned up about 10 minutes ago from the Royal Mint. These came super quick. It's the 2023 four coin set, the proof sovereign set. So we're gonna have a quick look together. Some of you sharp eyed guys will see them in the corner. We can have a look at them little beauties in a minute. I have ordered some five coin sets, but they have not come yet. Uh, and the fours came ballistically quick from the Royal Mint. So credit where credit's due. Uh, delivery was very quick. So we'll, we can have a, a quick nosey on at this together. Yeah, I've already had a sneak peek of this. I couldn't resist. So we've got the... Uh, wonderful portrait there the coronation crown portrait we've got the usual bump in there let me let, just let me move that out of the way then we can get onto the goodies in a second and here it is so we've got the uh the obligatory sort of roll mint warnel esque box. Oh, just have a look at those. So we are back to, let's get a bit zoomed in, can't we? Yeah, so we are back to the George and the Dragon reverse. Uh, the quality of these are very good. Uh, I've had a right good look before filming. And we have got the, let's get rid of the few marks on there so we can see a bit clearly. And we've got the coronation crowned obverse, which I do like. And I don't recall any male monarch on a sovereign being crowned um not in the modern series well, say modern from 1817 we've had a few laureate heads and what have you uh but this to my knowledge is the first crown uh coronation sovereign uh i like the i like design i'm glad oh, that's the problem with these they pick up little marks i am really happy to see we're back to the uh george and the dragon uh and i'll say this i'll say this again i think the double sovereigns are almost like the perfect size We've got the full and the sharp eyed people out there again will see a difference for some reason if you look at these sets uh george on all the other coins has a streamer you know back of his helmet you know the sort of thing blowing in the wind that's called the streamer if you have a look it's it's on the double uh the half and the quarter and it's also on the five but it's never on the full for some reason. I just find that a little bit unusual, but it's nice, clean. Uh, and while I've been looking at this set, what is, I wouldn't say unusual, but what is surprisingly good is the smallest coin, is the quarter. Excuse my fingers. It's the strike. Um, excuse my wobbly camera. The strike of these quarters are absolutely blindingly good. Uh, some people will overlook that, but I think the quality and the strike, what they've managed to produce with the quarters, is quite impressive uh, for such a small coin. So if you guys have got these coming, you'll have a, I'll urge you to have a look at your own coins and compare it to previous years, but that the strike on the quarters are, are actually bloody damn impressive. So we've got them there. Like I say, it's only the four coin set. I've got the five coin set coming, but it would be rude today not to show it alongside what I'm going to call the whole trinity of sovereign sets. Uh, let's push that one up. First of all, we had the, the Jubilee. Without a doubt, that this, this sovereign is the pinnacle of... The QE2 sovereigns, in my opinion, the five soft, get one of these a PF70. 
lock it away. That is an absolute beauty of a coin. I will show you these together once they come back from grading. I've got three five coin sets in my possession, but look at that. That is a remarkable design. And some of the guys are feeling, I'm trying to think the best word to say this, exhausted. Uh, I think we've had the 2022 Jubilee, um, the Platinum Jubilee for the longest serving monarch. Uh, and it was only right that they did a special year sovereign for it. Um, and let's face it, we're never going to see a monarch reign as long as Queen Louis II in absolutely generations. Uh, you know, if you think about it now, Charles is in the 70s, he's not going to reign for 70 years. Uh, it could get there 10 or 15 years. So, by the time William gets to the throne, he, he's going to be 50s, possibly mid 50s. He could then possibly reign for 35, 40 years, meaning George then would be what? Possibly in his mid 60s. And by the time, he, by the time he's mid 60s, I bet he's got 30, 40 year old children. So, you, you see, so that's sort of an, it's going to take an absolute anomaly for, for the UK to see. Um, a longest reigning monarch, if at all, and sadly, none of us will be here to see that. I, I doubt you, your grandchildren's children will even see an event like that. So, this for me is how special the Jubilee sovereign is, and I'm just a proud custodian of these coins. So, that's the five, and the memorial, beautiful coin. Honestly, it's that is just drop dead gorgeous. So quite a, a busy design from the Timothy Nodes. And we have got the first King Charles III portrait. And it's one, one portrait I will uh, I do really like. I think the legend's very clean. We've all heard about the, the bird in his ear. Uh, and that design is deliberate uh, by Martin Jennings. Uh, I have seen, uh, I was down at the uh, Royal Mint recently and I saw quite a large um, plaster of one of these and it's clearly they've been designed in there and apparently it's supposed to represent um, King Charles will listen to nature so he's got a little bird in his ear. Oh, it could be somebody telling him tales, who knows, but uh, that, that's what it's there for and it, it's nice to, nice to get a little bit of an Easter egg in a portrait. And what we'll do, to be fair, today, we'll have a look at the doubles together, because I've got the biggest one, haven't we? So we'll get, have a look at these doubles, 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 and more doubles. So it just gives you an idea. So, I mean, the, the quality of the 2023s are bang on. Um, really good strikes, very clean fields. So that's against the, uh, the Jubilee. Oh, they're just gorgeous when you see them. Um... Uh, and wowzers the memorial so these sets will go off for grading uh thank you for watching it's just a very quick show and tell um actually before we go before we go i'm just making this up as we go along we can have a look at the coa so the double sovereigns are 16.55 the the singles are 18.95 so that's these are all including sets and single sales the halves mintage 5405 and the, the quarters 4655 and the four coin sets are very low mintage at 575. Uh, the four sets are only available direct from the Royal Mint on launch. No doubt these will be coming into the secondary market for a few extra quid, quid I would imagine. So it's nice to see those. Uh, the five coin sets, I think there's 10,050. And I think overall, I think the Royal Mint, I've got it right again in terms of numbers. Um, I think it's good to see the, the five coin sets reduced uh, to 1050. Um, bearing in mind the, the Jubilees were 700 and the Memorials were... 1200 so we've gone a bit you know we, 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 we've gone a bit more sensible in terms of mintage and you know there is a lot of demand for these coins and and if you think this is one thing i was saying to a few other collectors uh, in terms of mintages for these uh we've got coronation crown coronation proof sets especially the five coin sets because that's where for me 
uh, I believe where the most value is. You know, people have got different sort of levels, but I think for me, the five coin sets for me hold all the value. Um, if you think about previous years for coronations, uh, 1937, 5,001 sets. Um, I'm just doing this off the top of my head, so I'm sure there's some coin guys out there, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, when it came down to about 1902, one of my favourite sets, uh, I believe that was around about 2,800 long sets. So it weren't just five coin sets in those, there was other Monday coins or what have you. Uh, and I think it, even in uh, 1911, the mintages were much, much higher. So here we are today, uh, be able to get sets of these coronation uh, sovereigns at a much reduced mintage than previous years uh, so i think that's only a good thing i think it's a great time to be alive for uh being a sovereign collector uh i, I suspect some sovereign collectors would have done a deal with the devil to be alive right now and be able to get these three sets um and like i say these are the holy trinity as far as i'm concerned because we're never going to see anything like this again where we've got a jubilee the longest serving monarch then we've got the memorial for Queen Elizabeth II, and rightly so, uh, yes, we should have uh, commemorated Queen Elizabeth II's passing, and we did in this coin. And then we've got the King Charles III, and we've got the crown. So as a run for sovereign collectors, these are hyper special, in my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Um, there's some heathens out there who don't know what they've even got in their hands, and that's up to them as well. Uh, but also, I think there's some people don't understand the significance of these coins, and some others do. And, you know, that's, up to, that's entirely up to you. You know, it's your money, you pay your money, you take your chance, you know. But I think these are super great coins. Highly collectible in the future. For me, I'm just going to be glad to hold these coins and I'm every now and again, I will go to the safe deposit box. I might just go and have a look one day, have a day out. I mean, <laughs> I'm doing that recently, quite often now, doing, going out, having a day out to the safe deposit box. So I look up some coins and go home. I suppose it's, uh, it's relatively uh, cost free. So thanks for watching, folks. When the five coin sets come, uh, I will be showing you those. Uh, I'm still doing a hell of a lot of grading for people now, so thank you for you guys using my services and also thank you to a, quite a wide selection of guys now using my services for buying modern proof coins. Uh, I can pass these on at RRP in nearly all cases. Um, so I'm happy to get coins for fellow collectors, um, get them at RRP. Uh, I've got no, I don't have to price gouge people uh, i'll pass on at rp as long as i've got notice uh, and i will grade them for them as well so i'm offering a service now for quite a few guys and it's it's working really well and everybody's happy so thanks for watching today folks i've, I've rattled on for 13 minutes or so so i will see you again when these five coin sets turn up see you later turn up